Get ready team, because today is a banded glute workout. That's right, we're gonna be working those glutes today or the buns or the booty, whatever you wanna call it, because having strong glutes definitely helps with your back and your knees. Equipment for this workout is booty bands. I'm gonna be using this medium to heavy resistance and then to lighten it up for the clam, I'm gonna be using my mini band. A set of dumbbells, I'm using 20 pounds, a mat and your amazing body. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you not miss any workouts. And if you want more, hey, all you gotta do is click that join button below. We're gonna start with the band above the knees. And again, this is my heavier resistance band. They are from the Gladiator Gym Gear. The link is in the description box. Ooh, this could be tough. We're gonna start with the band above the knees. This is my heavier resistance band one, so I'm not gonna be doing big steps. You can go as far as you can. We have 90 seconds on the clock here to really activate the glutes. What I need you to do, bend your knees, roll your shoulders back, and then tip a little bit forward, and you press with the whole foot. So don't lead with the toe. Make sure everything stays pointing forward. So get into a, a squat position. Feel like you're pushing your knees outward. And then take as many steps over as your space allows you. I'm getting about four steps here. This is not about speed here. We are gonna be changing the tempo eventually. Oh, and it makes a big difference when you use that moderate to heavy resistance band. And they do wear out over time. give you a heads up. We have about four rounds of this, but not right now. We're gonna kind of sprinkle them in. Oh, I'm already feeling it. We got 30 seconds to go. heavy band on here. Oh. Okay, we're gonna be on our back. We've got bridge using weight. So go ahead, lie down, put the weights on your hips and then your feet are underneath the knees and we're just bridging up and down. We're gonna be going for one solid minute. Feet under the knees. And again, this is where you want that tighter band. So it feels like your knees push out. and you wanna tuck your tailbone when you bridge your hips up. And have a pause at the top. And if you don't have weights, you could definitely be doing this with just your body weight. All right, 20 second break. Oh, fix anything you need to, let the legs relax. Whew. I'm gonna pull this up just a little bit here. Okay, let's get ready for round two. Weights on hips, feet. My feet are about hip width apart here. Pump it up. Oh yeah, it's another minute, you guys. No 
rushing right up. Pause. The weights feel like they irritate your hips. You could always put a pad, right, your roll up a mat, put it up on top or up a towel. Protect your hip bones here. All right, 20 second break. We're gonna do one more set. Whew. Oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna rock up, grab my weights, get in set position here. All right, last set. Remember, a little bit of tuck of the tailbone at the top. Gives you a little more glute activation. We do, this is very, this is also a variation on the hip thrust. Take a little breather here. We're coming back into, oh my gosh, right? Into that lateral walk. I was gonna swap this for an easier band, and then I was like, mm, you know what? Suck it up. Do the harder one. Here we go. Take breaks when you need to. That's all you gotta do. You ready? Pull your shoulders back. All right. Yeah, I did put on the, the lighter band and then it was way too easy. And when that happens, like, don't waste your time. And if you need to, you can always invest in, they're not expensive. It is a great at home workout tool to have. And what's great about them, you can take them with you, right? You go on vacation, they're easy to throw in your bag. I feel like how it feels to push with a little bit more heel. Okay, we can do a couple more trips here. All right, Whew. we're gonna come on our back. No weight in this bridge series. We're gonna start with 45 seconds full out. I'm gonna turn this direction. Just lifting and lowering the hips. Then we're gonna pulse for 15 seconds and then we're gonna go up and down faster. For 15 seconds, then take a 15 second break and repeat. Right. So full range on this bridge here. Lift and lower. So you have a whole 45 seconds here. All 
And you definitely want to make sure you have that heavier resistance band so you feel like it takes effort to keep pushing your knees out. You don't want them caving in at all. Remember, tilt the tailbone at the top. Hold at the top and it's down a little up. We're pulsing in the top range here. I'm going to make sure I get you for 15 seconds. And then we go for full range, but faster, right now. All the way down, all the way up. Take a break, right? Push your legs together so you're not pushing out, so those gluteal medial have a break here. Round two. Plant the feet, full range, 45 seconds. Remember, come to the top, tuck under. I like to feel like I'm pushing through the heels of my feet, press off to the blades of the, the foot. Believe me, when you get done with this workout, you're gonna feel those buns like you've never felt them before, right? At the top, hold, here's that pulse. Press it up, really tuck under, tuck under. All right, all the way down, all the way up, fast. Full range. But fast doesn't mean like crazy out of control. All right, in control. Oh, all right, bring your knees in. Ooh, one more set. Okay, round three. Are you ready? Full range. Remember, get to the top, tuck under. I'm under tension here. We're gonna come to the top hold, pulsing for that 15 seconds. Ooh. Full range, all the way down, all the way up. and relax oh my gosh right i do know i'm gonna swap this out for my green mini band which is kind of medium resistance for clam Whew. Whew. but i think you know what we're gonna do we're gonna do one more set of the lateral walk are you ready for that all right let's just take a little breather here oh, and we'll do one more set As much as I want to go down on my resistance band, I am going to keep this bad boy. Oh, I did have to take it off. How about you? Oh. We're going to go for that walk.
Okay, fix anything, bend those knees, good posture. This is your third time through here. Get that nice lateral walk. And also grounding the foot, right? Push away from it. Now remember, it takes patience to see change. Just because you do the workout one time does not mean you're gonna have like this pop and booty. It'll be pumped for a little bit, but it's consistency. Glute workouts weekly, right? Every week, at least one time a week. Give yourself a couple months to start seeing a difference. Leg workouts are so great for getting a lot for your time because they're big muscles here. All right, one more trip here. I am gonna drop to my green mini band for the clam here so that I can have a good range of motion. And then when doing the clam, if your band does start to kind of tighten up, you can always go back to your other band. Above the knees and then come on to your side. Whew. Feet in line with hips. We're just gonna lift the top leg, keeping the feet together. You can go hand on the head or completely drop your head into your bicep. We have a full minute. Brace your core, shoulder relaxed. Lifting that top leg. I do a little back hold, let it go. arm just stays relaxed. Your core stabilizes your midsection here. We're going to do a one and done on this one, okay? Oh, now you're excited, right? You won't be excited when you know what's next. Back and hold. Hold it there. 30 seconds. Hello. Right? Breathe with it. Don't hold your breath. Maybe you need to come down for a moment. 10 more seconds, and then we go into a faster clam. Three, two, one, down, press. Keep lying on your side. Don't try to move the rest of your body, just that top leg. It's a burnout right here, come on. And your core is stabilizing you. All right, 30 second rest. We're gonna do the other side. Aren't you glad you changed your band? Maybe, maybe you didn't. Maybe you're grabbing it now. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, and check out this mat. This is the Yo Gorilla mat. This is great for at home. It's huge, isn't it? Okay, get in position your feet in line with hips. We got one minute. 
Feet together. Back and pause. Now this would be a really challenging workout to do after a leg day workout. So you can determine, like you could do a leg day, do some upper body the next day, and if you have time after upper body, <clears throat> you could do, throw in this glute workout. Or you do it on like a, maybe you do chest and back, and then you throw in the glutes. Or you do arms and you throw in glutes. So it depends on the leg day that you do. If you do a really hard one, you may not want to do this glute workout. This one's tough, you guys. All right, we're getting ready to hold it. Ready? 30 seconds here. And your body wants to cheat, right? It wants to like lower the leg, but try to keep it pushing back. Stay right on that side. Oh, come on, buddy. 10 seconds. Kind of shake going on here. Ooh, touch it, right? Feel it. Three, two, one, and quickly into those clams. Be right on your side, come on. All right, take that band off. Oh my gosh. And put on your heavier resistance band because we're gonna finish this off. We got some more lateral walks. Oh yeah, we do. Woo. glute finisher right here. One minute of lateral walk, and then we'll spend 15 seconds tapping out to one side, then the other side, and then finish off with a little faster walk. One minute. So this is like round four of your lateral walk. Do you feel a little refreshed though? You're gonna keep going. You still have 30 more seconds here. to keep your chin slightly lifted. I'm gonna just take two steps, then go back. <clears throat> right foot, tap out. Keep this leg steady, right? It's gonna activate as that foot taps out. So you're really working on this side. Switch it. Stabilizers, it's very isometric hold. And then we're 
gonna do a faster walk. You ready? Faster walk. Burn. You feel it right, oh my gosh, right in that little pocket. 10 seconds. I could do. Woo! Booty on fire. You have been pumped. Woo! Take a moment, walk around. Get rid of your booty band. I like to hang mine up. Oh, until next time. Woo! And I'm gonna come on down to the ground here and stretch that booty out. Figure four, pick a leg. Oh, relax the head. And what's good to do, not only stretch now, but later on in the day, when it starts to kind of tighten up. Or another great one, foam roll. Oh, it's tight. All right, I'm gonna do drop across. Give a little hug to that knee. And let's do the other side, figure four. So whatever you do, if you want to see change, I'm telling you, you need to be consistent. And there's days when you feel like you don't wanna do it. And what do you do? You just freaking do it. Because once you start, like we always say, the hardest thing is just starting. Right, and sometimes you just really gotta suck it up, right? And be like, oh, that lateral walk is killing me. But then think about the gains that you're getting, right? Think about like why you do what you do. And then you start getting the results and then you're like, oh my gosh, it's working. Back to center. I'm gonna rock myself up to standing. Ooh. And then let's stretch out your low back because it's engaged a lot. So drop into straddle. And grab your elbows. And then sumo squat, heels in, toes out. Push your knees out. And then lateral lunge. These just feel good. Toes up. Switch. Push your knee out. Let's do one more each side. Get, oh, I got a little arm reach. Oh, one more straddle. Step it in, roll up. Ooh, ooh, how's your booty feeling? Does it, this is when you take a booty picture, right? Big inhale, attitude of gratitude to this amazing body. Pull it into your heart, touch that skin. One more big inhale, let it out. Oh my gosh, yay, oh my gosh, yay, you made it through. Yeah, those lateral walks are getting to be a killer. Depends on the band that you have. If you wanna see the bands that I have, it is in the description box. That is the bands that I do use. If you enjoyed this workout, thumb it up, comment below, and share some selfies with me. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. I love seeing you guys. It makes me more connected to my community because I get to bring you into my house and my driveway every day. And if you haven't yet, do hit the subscribe button and the bell. It does help this channel out. And if you want more, click the join button below. I will see you back at the next workout.